Welcome to another edition of the Coach Ken Erickson Show. Along with the coach, I'm Jim Lauk. USF on a nice winning streak, 12 and 7, four consecutive wins as they head into some more games in Clearwater and some more games right here in Tampa. Coach, you got it going a little bit in the last week. Team seems to be playing well. Pitching has been solid. You've had some timely hitting as well. well you know, we're we're uh, we're getting there. You know, we're just we're trying to play the game the way the game is supposed to be played and try to avoid leadoff walks, try to avoid uh, errors and uh, take advantage of good pitches at the plate uh, to try to get the barrel to the ball. I mean, there's no real secret to our game. Um, and I think some of them right now are, are, are getting better at the learning process of how to play the game. And it's translated into the scoreboard being on the right side for us. So uh, continuing teaching what's happening and uh, not really worried about our opponents. I know there's a bunch of them on the schedule. We're really worried about us and, and what we can do best. Pitching seems to have settled down. You've had some very nice performances in the circle the past few days. I'm a tough critic of, uh, of pitching. And, you know, I don't like uh, walks because you can't catch them, number one. You know, and it kind of puts your team at a little bit of a disadvantage. So I've been riding Sammy uh, and Erica and Susan and Carla very hard in that respect and uh, give your team the best opportunity. they got some great gloves out there. Uh, let them utilize that. So, but I agree to the point that we're attacking the strike zone a lot better. Uh, I still like to see us be in that 12 to 13 pitches an inning type of ratio instead of that 18 to 24 because to me that gets boring, number one. And I like my defense to be on their toes. So, well, we, we have room for improvement. You know, I'll put it that way right now. Well, you had uh, a lot of rain over the weekend in Clearwater. Schedule washed out. You were able to add some couple of games here. We've got beautiful weather here, although a little bit breezy today. I don't understand why your hair doesn't move and mine does. But I guess that's just the way it goes at this point in the uh, Tight crop, the man. Tight crops this time of year. <laughs> but you did have a chance to add some games, and that's we beneficial did. as well. I yeah. know that was disappointing because you had a little head of steam going into last weekend. We did. We did. We were, we were playing well, especially coming off the Illinois game uh, on Friday. Friday. You know, I thought we had a, a great opportunity to go into that weekend and, and Georgia State was on the schedule as a very good team and, and a couple of other teams. But, you know, the other teams got their games in pretty much. Everybody got four games in. They only lost one. We took the bullet on Saturday and Sunday by not playing, by allowing these teams to come in. And, you know, the weather's been brutal across the country and teams are losing anywhere between 10 and 12 games on their schedule. So we're kind of being accommodating, kind of being good hosts. I think that's the USF way. And uh, so we're going to pick up some games like big tournament this weekend and there's already flights being canceled uh, because the weather up northeast is bad so we kind of got to do some wrangling around with schedules that way but you know being down here in spring break 75 to 80 degrees and, and other teams down here we're able to pick up some of those games and and uh, you know make sure they're good RPI games for us also and one of the big deals we got we picked up Army for the the 15th of uh, March which is going to be military night Sunday night five o'clock we're the only game going on in South Florida uh, color guard you know hopefully we can get a bunch of people from McDill and the ROTC area here and the VA hospital will come in. So that's going to be a big night for us. Check the schedule for all the games coming up on the website. Bulls will be in Clearwater again this weekend, but a lot of games here in Tampa as well. When we return on the Coach Ken Erickson Show, we're going to practice. Head coach is going to be mic'd up, going to talk to his players, get them through a practice. You're going to be on your best behavior on this, right? When the mic's on, it's a different me. We look forward to that. <laughs> coach will be with us when we return with more on the Coach Ken Erickson Show after this. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in four specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, nephrology, orthopedics, and neurology. Number one in Tampa Bay, again, and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. If you're doing palm up, palm down, be strict with it. Good. 
So right back to the basics, you know, all the good work you're doing today, that's a nice flatter swing. All the good work you're doing today pays off on Friday. That's the point. You get to that early position on time, okay? The worst thing you can try to do is try to get base hits. All you're trying to do is get to position, get the barrel to the ball. There it is. There it is. That's all day. That's giving yourself an opportunity to use your best assets. And that's your eyes. Stay in the middle of the plate. Stay in the middle of the plate. It's so yes, yes, yes until no. Stay in the middle of the plate. So if the collision point's a little behind you, what do you have to do with the barrel? Just release it. Just release it. What's holding on? Yeah. Just release it. Close. Excellent. Okay, good. Now remember too, when we talk about staying in the middle of the plate, you're not looking for like middle of the plate, right? Too perfect. Middle of the plate is that circle, okay? That, that deal that you can get the barrel to. Okay, it's not like one spot, okay? So stay aggressive and yes, yes, yes until definitely no. I'm leading the league and hit by batters in batting practice this year, so don't dig in. That a baby. Going out, boo. Oh, yes. Yes. Oppo. Good job. What? Okay, we were on time. Okay, so if you're on time, it's a pitch you're not going to maybe really be able to go all out at. What did you? What were you able to do? Why though? Yeah, and so where are your hands when you're on time? They're set, right? If you're rushing out, what's going to happen to your hands? They're going to leak out, and you're never going to touch that pitch. Okay. Very nice. That's a huge difference. I hope you feel that. You know what? You feel you probably feel coordinated right now. You know, without the lack of a better terminology. Nice. That's the one. We get that one, we're in business. That's a tough ball right there. Yeah, exactly. It's okay to pat yourself on the back and be your own best friend sometimes. You know that, right? Great job today. All right, pick him up. Good work. This is where the legends live, waiting for someone with better innovation. From the brand that reinvented the t-shirt comes the Under Armour Speed Form Apollo. This is our rocket ship. Looking for an individual or family health care plan, or maybe a dental policy? Look no further than the Tampa Florida Blue Centers in West Shore, Carrollwood, and Pinellas Park. For more information, go to floridablue.com or call the number on the screen. Coach, it gives us a glimpse of the hard work. I mean, day in and day out, fans see the games and that's great, but the stuff that goes on here and back in the batting cages behind us on a daily basis, it's pretty intense. It's, it's constant teaching, you know, and, and as much as you want to think about going to class and, and taking accounting 2000, you know, and, and macroeconomics and microeconomics, you know, this is serious business for us. And for these young ladies also, they want to be at the best they can be. And some of them aspire to be in national team programs or in professional ball afterwards. So they're trying to get better between 18 and 22 years old. And, and all we are is kind of messengers of, of what has gone on correctly in some great programs. And these guys are very, very good students. You know, if I was teaching a, a his, history class or something, I, I guarantee right now they've got 23 students that would be getting anywhere between a B and an A in class. So uh, I'm happy with that process. The adjustments can be so minuscule. You look at players, especially this time of year, and you think, oh, you're playing five games a week. How can you get out of whack? Well, it doesn't take much. No, it takes about that much, in all honesty, between getting the barrel out to get one you know, solid down the line or just popping one up. So um, these guys are special that way. And one of the hardest things in sports to do is to hit a moving object, as we all know. And the way these young ladies uh, in a microcosm of, of a second make these adjustments. And, and fast pitch softball, 
you know, proven how fast your, your reactions have to be. So um, I'm very happy with the people that came here and I'm very happy with the people that continue to work hard and, and you're seeing a little progress. I mean, we're starting four or five freshmen a game right now, uh, but they're making those adjustments right off the bat. And I said this before, if, if it wasn't for our juniors and seniors making it, you know, very comfortable for them to get better, then they wouldn't. So uh, I like what we're doing. I like the teaching that we have on our coaching staff. You know, one of our big assets is everybody that's coaching right now in South Florida has played fast pitch softball at the highest level that they can attain. So we're lucky that way. Those freshmen are in the lineup on a regular basis, as you mentioned, and they are putting up some numbers. I mean, they are helping you. You knew this had to be the case to be successful this year, but they're coming through. You know, if you think back, Jim, in 2011, I think it was, that freshman class with Savarola, Medina, Ashley Goff, Nevins, um, that was a special class also, and they came in right away and were able to produce uh, the same type of group right here. Um, very offensive. Um, we're, we're feeling very good about what the future holds. The recruiting classes for next year and the year after are very, very good. So um, I, I like where we're going. You know, we just got to get a little bit more solid in gameplay right now from everybody because the only thing that the freshmen are lacking is really a whole season of experience. Um, but they're getting it, and they're getting it baptism by fire, and we, and we won't stop putting them in a the lineup. In the circle, will you continue to kind of mix and match as these games go on? Well, you know, I'd love for every one of our starting pitchers to give us at least a good five, six innings. You know, that, that saves arms over a long period of time and so forth. But if you're going to throw, you know, the 25 pitches an inning and you get through three innings, that's 75 pitches. And really, you know, you're trying to keep it anywhere between 98 and 110. You know, you'd like to see that. You know, the other night, Sammy Griner threw a great game. I think she threw five innings, five and a half innings, and 77 pitches. You know, that's phenomenal. And then, you know, we've had pitchers come out and throw three innings and they've thrown 80. You know, that's not going to work. You know, you're going to tire yourself out and there's a diminishing return. And there's a reason for an injury to happen when you're tired. So we're going to keep taking a look at our pitch counts, uh, especially this early in the season still. Later on down the line, I'm sure people get stronger and we can go a little deeper into counts. But right now, we're going to continue to do the smart thing. Check out the schedule on the website, especially for those games that have been added in the past few days. There's a lot going on in Clearwater. There's a lot going on right here in Tampa. Coach, have a great week. We'll look forward to the next time we visit. Thanks, Jim. Head coach Ken Erickson joining us. All the best on USF softball, including play-by-play -play audio and video of all home games right here on Bullscast. We'll see you next time on the Coach Ken Erickson Show.